Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD5. So uh, today I will be finally unlocking the Extreme Mastery on uh, this new account that I recently got on Steam. As you can see, I'm rank 70, and um, and yeah, I just need one more medal to unlock the very last mastery that you can unlock in the game, the Extreme one. As you can see, you need all the medals on three uh, maps, and of course, you have to have all the previous masteries unlocked. So I just need one more medal on the Antonium Lab and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna show here the gameplay and uh, uh, as I'm gonna unlock Extreme Mastery. Now this uh, mastery, it's needed just for one thing, if you're gonna play mastery on the Extreme Maps and also for the very last level in the lab upgrades, so level 13. And uh, yeah, I'm currently using these three lab upgrades at so level 12. Uh, I'm using the Blue Cheaper Special Building, level 4, and I'm also using a Double Cash and Bigger Beckons uh, because like, I'm trying to get these medals as fast as possible. I don't really care about using a, a legit or a, you know, a good strategy. I just care about getting these medals and uh, getting mastery. So that's why I'm using also like Double Cash, Bigger Beckons, all this premium stuff that I would normally not use. And yeah, that being said, let's just start here. This is gonna be Bloom Tunnel Lab Impopable. It's gonna be quite fast as a gameplay because uh, as I said before, I'm using double cash. So it's, uh, um, especially that feature, it just breaks the game because it gives you so much cash that no matter what you do, you're gonna you're gonna survive anyway. And let's, uh, let's start going fast through the rounds right away. All right, three, one, Ninja. I'm not placing this ninja exactly in the center because they're gonna get a glue gunner next but uh, but yeah I mean don't take this strategy as a reference if you wanna like beat Bluntonium Lab on Impopable because uh, as I said before I'm using a lot of stuff and that probably is making this um, gameplay a lot uh, a lot easier than what it actually is so uh, yeah don't uh, don't follow this strategy I have other videos in my uh, BTD5 playlist that can be used as reference if you want to beat this map in Popable, so go watch those ones instead. Alright, so placing a village here, uh, you can see here the um, the very nice uh, uh, huge range from it because of the uh, premium uh, bigger backends. Now I'm gonna just drop here a balloon chipper just to help for this bottom path. You can see that is the path that the ninja covers the last. So uh, the balloon chipper is a very good tower to stall the balloons to keep them in place. And uh, and on top of that, I also got the balloon chipper special building, so the balloons are being slowed. So yeah, that's just the perfect combination. And yeah, as I, as I was saying before, I always like to place a village early because that is gonna discount all the towers and all the upgrades that I, I get. So it's something that I always uh, like to, to do. All right, next I will just keep on placing more Blue Chippers. All right, so one for each path um, should, be, should be good enough. All right. And then uh, uh, just getting all these blue chippers uh, like 2 0 for lab balloons. So, no matter where the lab balloons will come from, around the 28 and all the next rounds, I will be able to destroy them. Village 001. Alright, and I think at this stage I can uh, uh, maybe get like one farm or two. There is a lot of room here because of this very nice village, so I will just place them, I don't know, up here. I don't really care about like placing them, collecting cash, because I will be getting so much cash anyway. So that's why I'm not really stopping through the rounds or bothering too much about uh, how I'm placing them and all that stuff. And yeah, two I think should be good with double cash. Um, yeah, two, it's, it's more than enough. So we'll get now the village to one. Right, more attack speed. Farm three zero. 
and probably now I will start building like uh, blue gunners and bombs. So blue gunner is strong, two two, and then a bomb down here. Um, yeah, three two, close. All right, this should be good now. Another farm three zero, and let's get now every blue cheaper uh, two two. So more range and also being able to pop the balloons uh, faster. All right, I can sell this farm 30 for 5,000 cash. So I'm gonna probably do it right now. And I'm gonna get for the beginning of the next round uh, um, the factory. So yeah, let's get it right, right here. Um, and we'll get one balloon cheaper here for two. Probably two blue cheapers for two, just to um, in case the mob. I don't remember exactly where the mob comes from, so I'm gonna get some blue cheapers. Actually, let's get all three of them for two. Uh, village to three. Uh, let's place here another uh, farm. So I get two factories. All right, I also got the glue gunner there, three, two. Uh, let's get this bomb also for. Uh, yeah, let's get this factory next. Here we go. And uh, now at this stage, I think I will just build a a temple. It's just the safest uh, and the, the like a single tower is very strong. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I will first build just an ace around here. So a specter, all right. So that should be pretty legit and good damage in uh, these rounds that I'm waiting to get the temple. So I will get the temple right here in the center. So I'm gonna sell the glue gunner and the uh, and the ninja, and I will place the super monkey. It's gonna be the temple right there, all right. 3-0 and now I will replace the glue gunner and actually I'm gonna start placing all the sacrifices uh, I will get here uh, considering that uh, I'm getting a ton of cash because of double cash I will get the strongest temple in the game uh, so in that way I, I have to worry less about like uh, placing more towers so I will sacrifice for each temple passive I will sacrifice more than 30,000 cash so two glue gunners a 4-2 should be enough for that. I already got a bomb here for 2, so I just need 2 mortars. Um, so let's see here the range of this. Yeah, probably I need this super monkey to be 4-1, 3-1, so to have more range, so that I can place the sacrifices a little bit further away. Alright, so that's one mortar for 2, and then I will place uh, another one. And that should be the uh, the bomb. Uh, attack for the temple Then uh, there is ice so let's place some ice towers for two Another one for two and then I think this is already uh, 24 should be around like 28,000. So I just need a little bit more uh, Sacrifice for ice. So we'll just get a 2-4 ice tower all right, and then one more thing is apprentices. So let's just drop anywhere uh, some apprentices. In this case, 4-2 or 2-4 is pretty much the same cost. So you can see here, 4-2 uh, is exact, is a little bit more expensive, but it's pretty much the same cost. So three wizards should be good. And then considering the dark passive, I'm I have here one, two, and three blue cheapers. And then I have an ace in the village, so that should be way more than enough uh, enough cash for the um, for the dart passive. So this uh, factory, I think, is also in range, so I'm gonna actually sell it. And uh, maybe I will rebuild it right here. So that is not gonna get sacrificed. And yeah, let's get the temple, by the way. I, I really... I do have the cash to do it, so I'm gonna get it just uh, as fast as possible. 
Right village to three, temple four two. Um yeah, village two four. And I will keep the factories for maybe seven or eight more rounds. Because still this, you know, um it's good. The temple is doing a ton of damage. But um it's better not to risk it, so I will get some aces nonetheless. Some specters. So one is gonna be there, another one right here, and then another one down here there. So these specters are gonna help the temple to to do all the damage that is needed. And also I wanna get uh, um at least one blue cheaper for each path. So like around here. So one here. Not too close to the wood towards the beginning, but with enough range, like to be able to cover the opposite side. So this side right here, you can see the opposite like path. Uh and maybe this one, yeah, this one right around here. Alright. And with this, I feel a lot safer now, for especially for round uh, uh, 85, for the 5 ZOMGs that will be coming out. And last thing in the cake that I can get is uh, um, some snipers for 0 and for 1, so cripple mobs to stun my Plasplums, so they can't advance uh, a lot. So two snipers in range of a village, two snipers outside. Right, they should be outside, yeah. So in that way, I'm proccing the cripple mob effect at different timings, and therefore I'm stunning more efficiently the um, uh, the balloons. And uh, yeah, let's sell now these factories, and let's just use this remaining cash to place maybe um, maybe like a, a heli right here in the very center, right, 4-0, looks, looks cool, and yeah, that should be it, we'll also place, oops, I will also place a nice tower around here, close to the center, 3-2, so that in case any ceramics or any balloons can go through, I can like slow them down, and this is around 85, let's use also the village activity ability, and that's it, so that was the medal, very easy, with double cash, bigger backends, uh, and that should be extreme mastery. Here we go. So I unlocked the last upgrade for uh, for the for the lab, and yeah, this is the very last step in the game. Once you unlock extreme mastery, you can you know play in mastery mode on every single map in the game. And yeah, there isn't much else that you can unlock in the game after this stage. So uh, yeah, I will get now this last level for attack speed, for starting cash and for big balloon sabotage. Right, a lot of uh, tokens are needed, as you could see there, for every for every upgrade. And, uh, and yeah, so that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and see ya. Bye-bye.